Okay, everybody, this is a complete transformation process for the Studio Series Gamer Deluxe Barricade figure. Just a reminder, this is only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, this is going to be a bit of a tutorial, so I hope it helps you out. Another thing to be aware of, mine's got really stiff joints and with the gimmick of the arm coming off, um, it does tend to happen during transformation. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's easier if you start off by getting the forearms opening up the cover and then you really have to, I've tried doing it a number of different ways, turning the hand 180 degrees so the back of the hand then slots into there and it closes over nice and neat. If you try doing it any other way it just tends to get caught so 180 degree spin so the thumb is facing out and then push this over make sure it obviously misses all the sides and close it up and there you go. Right, let's lift the arms just out of the way for now because we're going to do quite a bit of things with the arms. I'm going to say take the waist, now spin it around 180 degrees, make sure it's smack bang in the middle, take the feet and then fold these down into the back of I suppose what's going to, what were the shins. Um, and then let's join these together via the tabs at the front. Don't worry about these on the side just yet. Take the wheel arches, roll it round, then roll it round again. Same principle on this side, spin at the halfway round on that lever and then spin that up sort of ready as well. To be honest, I think you can probably bring these up and then push these right down. These you'll hear a clip. Now you know that that's flush and you'll see that they line up rather well as well. Right, this is where it gets difficult, but that's only because that the arms, they sometimes come off. Rotate this 180 degrees, so you've got the black stripe on the outside. Take this at the shoulder, bring it all the way down, and then there's a huge tab there and a huge cutout underneath. Slot that into place, and then you can just clip the wheel arch underneath. And as I say, that side's easy. This side, because the arm comes off, you've got to really hold it at the joint, spin it carefully 180 degrees, and then same principle, start to push it forward from the shoulder. So this gray tab, you're lining up that tab through the gap there. I don't know if you can see, there it is. So line this up, start to push it down and forward. And funnily enough, brilliantly enough for this video rather, that's gone in straight away. Don't worry if that doesn't work for you straight away, it can be a pain. Release the backpack, this then cascades right out like so. Bring this over, these two parts will slot under there, them two tabs will go into the cutouts either side. So bring this up and over, line everything up. See how that one just missed the tab there, so I've got to disconnect it again, line these up and it clips in like so. That's probably the best it's ever done it for me in honesty, but there you go, that's to alternate mode. So let's take it back the other way. So of course, take this part first and foremost, hold on to the sides of the doors, disconnect this, fold this all the way up, and then cast, in fact, leave it out of the way for now. Take the shoulders, separate this from the wheel arch, like so, bring it out, lift the shoulder all the way up so it's totally out of the way like this. Same on this side and then separate these, what are going to be, I suppose, the back of the leg guard. Separate them, fold them down, rotate at the waist 180 degrees, fold the feet down like so, feet down like so. Then you can bring these back parts down, these will just... Um, will they fit behind there? No, it's probably best. Let me have a look. Once the feet are down, these will go over the top of it. So there we go. It's just going to cover up that. That's better. I made that look more difficult than what it was. Then take the wheel arch, spin this up there, and then carry on rotating just the wheel and the top part around. So what we're doing is we're going to swing this all the way up and then rotate the gray part over as well. Last part is obvious, well it's not, the arms are next. Spin that 180 degrees, open up the forearm, grab it by the thumb on the inside, bring it around, rotate 180 degrees. It might pop off, it's a ball and socket, so be careful. This is the one that sometimes does slip out due to the gimmick. Hold it tight as you're pushing it all the way in. Open up the cover, grab the thumb from the inside like so and then start to pull this out, rotate the hand around 180 degrees, clip that up, make sure the shoulders both stay up, separate the legs, bend at the bicep, and then what we're looking to do is fold this bit over on itself like so, here are that clicked, there's the giant square, there's the giant tab, fold it up and over, look to line it up, and indeed, there is your robot mode. Hope this helped guys, take care.